No energy was created or destroyed during the making of this film. We'd like to remind our viewers that it is only transformed between gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. If there's anyone in the room that has an irrational fear of the conservation of energy laws, please have them exit the theater now. Welcome to the Vector Kids. Who are we? Just four physics students turned Newtonian prodigies. We're here to apply some major force and start some perpetual learning. What do we do? We cause serious kinetic mayhem. survive in this world using physics. Today, with the help of a martial arts expert, we will demonstrate how you can endure, survive, and even win a common street fight. Let's get to it. Well, what have we got here, Sophia? I don't know, Connor, but it seems like a street fight in the making. Let's take a look at recreation of the events leading up to this conflict. <laughs> No doubt, after the typical watch where you're walking is uttered, everyone is ready to, in fact, throw down. Throw down indeed. Let's take a look and see who uses the best physics to win this fight. Wait, Connor, shouldn't we take a look at how these fighters have the energy to fight in the first place? What are you talking about? Food and fighting are totally different. Well, in terms of energy, they're very connected. Are you saying that the muffin that our MMA expert ate a few hours ago is contributing to his fighting ability? Yes, I am. I'm talking about the potential energy and the sugars in that muffin, converted into energy for his muscles to play a key role in their ability to put force into his fists and legs. Wow! That's right, wow. Let's get back to the fight. Kimbo Slice, Trump hit for like Kimbo Slice, Trump hit for like Kimbo Slice, four rounds smooth, so the rims on right. I'd like to make a comment about mass here. All right. Now, Jose is obviously the larger fighter, which means his fists are larger, and that means they will punch harder, correct? In terms of acceleration, the factor that will decide how much the punch will hurt, Jose needs a greater force to accelerate such a large fist, whereas... Whereas Noah needs very little force to accelerate his smaller fist. And what is this? Newton's second law of motion! That's right, the object with the greater mass, and therefore the greater inertia, will accelerate slower with the same amount of force, making this fight more even than you'd, than you'd think. Cause I didn't know I couldn't, couldn't do A slip of the tongue and your mind forgets some foot and foot and I love when they hate and they hate when I love It's no escape from my love and shove I'm pissing no blood Ooh, that was brutal 
brutal. Let's see that again. No, that looked way too painful. At first glance, maybe, but let me show you something. All Jose has to remember is that according to Newton's third law of motion, his face is meeting that fist with the same amount of force, making it an, an equal and opposite force. Jose's face is hitting back. Yes, that's right. And you were the one who didn't want the replay. Alright, this looks like street rules now. Jose's bringing school supplies into this fight. And he throws the scissors! Let's take a look at that. You know what it looks like to me? I know what it looked like. An, An object, object starts, starts moving, moving, staying in motion. First law! That's right, this is Newton's first law at work, and when Jose begins his throw, he's accelerating those scissors, and as soon as he releases them, they're traveling at a constant velocity, acting on nothing but air, and it keeps traveling until... Bam! It hits Noah. And what is Noah? The, the unbalanced, unbalanced force, force acting on an object in motion. motion! An excellent use of physics on Jose's part, giving him the upper hand in this fight. People! So let's figure out how much energy would be transferred into Jose's head if he dropped the weapon. And to figure that out, we need to use the equation mass times gravity times height. The mass of this gun is approximately 1.2 kilograms. The height is approximately a meter, and that times the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, gives us approximately 37.2 joules. And all of that energy would be transformed into kinetic energy transferred into Jose's head. Don't lie to me! Did you do your physics homework? Ah!